there. I'm starting a new city in City Skylines. Decided that I'd record it and see how these things go. I've got a bunch of uh, mods installed and they uh, mostly are to help with uh, how the game runs, but uh, there's a few things that are more than cosmetic. Um, just trying to remember how to build a battery to start with and uh, get on with this. Let's use a bigger road than that. Okay, let's use a regular road. Uh, go out 60. No, 40. each turn that up and then we need some on my roads to uh, direct traffic around from the entryway and I think the centre lines should actually be one way as well, so let's upgrade them while we're here. Okay, now we've got that, let's grab another road to do the main parts of the battery with. I'm going to go with the, this narrow two-way to start with, I reckon. Looks a little more interesting than normal with the uh, narrow roads because it's uh, split things up a little bit. I didn't do my sizing as I normally would. I still got a pause from loading so uh, the game itself won't actually start until I've done this zoning section. And uh, let's just do it this way because I should. Uh, that. Um, forget where we put these in this, I think we just put them up the center, so let's grab that, go like that, and we'll have some commercial up there. And because at the moment I don't really care about the traffic being too bad, I'll do that across there as well. And we'll do the same on the other side. So this bit down the middle is my main street. <coughs> Excuse the voice, I'm just a little croaky at the moment. We're going to put some industry in the set in the second and third sections on this side. And this last one doesn't. Oh no, that was spot on 90 that time. Don't know why it wanted to be off 90 degrees the first time around, but that's the way it is sometimes. Now we get some uh, industrial into this section out here. 
least half of this front section being commercial. I think I'll make the rest industrial though. And that's good enough to start with. Now some water pipes to uh, make sure everyone has some water. There's a mod that I'm considering getting that uh, removes the need for water pipes, but uh, for the moment I'm still using them. Yes, I do tend to lay them out so they're not really wandering all over the place but uh, just following a nice big grid. Uh, we need more than that. Throw that out of the way. From there. A little bit of overlap but not a huge amount. Alright, that's the important things now. Let's just throw down a water tower because I can and we'll put one of these little pumping, uh, not pumping stations, output stations oh that's nice the river flows all the way that way, let's put it right down there near the end these always mess up a nice little grid system with pipes but uh, it's not too bad this time uh, electricity um, what options do I have out here? Um, I might see how these solar parking work for charging, for uh, uh, running things later, but for now I think we're just going to put in a coal plant because they're filthy and noisy. Let's shove it out in the back of the uh, industrial area trucks will come in and take stuff there pretty quickly um, and we should add a road across here that's one way so that we can just send the cars for the residential straight there initially I mean none of this will survive for too long after the town uh, gets up and running um, let's get some power around to things. Run that there and that down to there. Actually get it into the box. Run some power out to the uh, out to the water output. So we've got water coming, water being drawn from the tower, water going out into the river, power being generated by the power plant bunch of zoning done. I think we're ready for this to roll. Um, apparently I can use the budget from the beginning so let's have a look at that. Um, those things will adapt as we're running. Can't look at taxes yet that's what I was wanting but that's okay they'll come. Um, nothing else to do yet so let's go. Uh, get rid of messages from there. So this city vitals that I've got here, it just shows me the current levels of everything. So electricity availability, nothing, nothing to report. No buildings, water, not producing any, but can supply 14,000. Sewage treatment, likewise, nothing using yet, 30,000 supply. And these ones all set down the left uh, for things that I haven't actually uh, got access to yet. Employment percentage is nice to see on this one as well because it gives you a pretty quick indicator that uh, everybody's employed or you know lots of people. If it starts drifting down past the G in percentage, you might need to start looking at things, but it usually doesn't for most of the game. Over on this side, I've got a different uh, display of them um, showing in nice and quick. Green means I don't have anything to worry about. Yellow, it's sitting in the okay area but you might want to look, think about it. And red generally means, hey, you probably should uh, fix this up. These greyed out ones, um, I haven't actually seen any use from them yet and I've played in a different city up to quite a high level. But they're just another way of just of a quick mouse over traffic's at 86 percent just from mousing over there nice and quick so uh, kind of handy 
Uh, we just let this run for a little bit, money goes down, people go up, and then uh, eventually uh, buildings start coming in in other areas and we start having uh, workers and the city starts to grow. Fire hazard exists because, well, uh, no fire stations, health starts out pretty ordinary. And the employment percentage is dropping because, well, as of yet, there's only two businesses that have been built and the station and the power plant. So there's not a huge amount of call for employment yet, and there's a whole bunch of houses. Yeah, let's race this along for a little bit and see how things go. Might need to build a couple more uh, stacks north of this, but the beauty of the battery is that. Uh, you can just let it run and you'll make money and uh, you get a good start to your city. I also think I've got this slightly misaligned in the centre but um, not a big deal. Now we've got some industry growing, people still coming in though nobody's arrived yet and uh, that budget's going down still but not too far. Yeah, we still have the usual, the, the, the regular uh, info views available as well. Oh look, there's a car arrived. Well, it's actually a truck. What do we got there? We have an ore truck, so delivering to the coal station. That means we'll have power soon. Uh, not sure about I mean, we'll start naming some streets but this area is not really going to last for forever but uh, let's start with the, with the highway and uh, we'll give it a uh, main road name of main road because I have limited levels of um, imagination can't spell main and so that's just the main well, that one, oh, it won't let me do two of the same name because uh, it's like that so let's do it this way so this is the uh, tool that you've got access to to uh, modify where roads actually start from and go to and uh, it's part of the routes section in the info. So now you can see both sides of it are named main road. The end bit is as well, but um, no, that's not too big a deal. Um, I'd consider getting this little cut through named for it as well, but it can stay as part of Richardson Street, which I might rename to Richardson Circuit and have it loop all the way around the block, because that sounds like an idea. Richardson circuit, it does go all the way around except where this little bit of main road is at the end. That's good enough for me. Right, let's spin this around again. We've got cars flowing into the residential area now as people are coming in and making their homes. And, uh, if we look back out the highway, we can see that uh, there's a nice little uh, three-way junction just outside our borders and lots of traffic's flowing into the city for the uh, residents to uh, start to build things. Now that, I, now that I think about it, I think in the actual battery that I've uh, used before, these roads up the middle here are actually highway roads that you just extend from the highway so that you can keep extending your highway further into your area. But I'll fix that later when I'm building to a larger city. Some of the goals that I have for uh, this uh, city are uh, to finish unlocking some of the 
unique buildings that I haven't unlocked yet, and uh, well, I don't know, hopefully get the monuments, uh, get up to the monuments and unlock them, and uh, maybe getting some of the things like the fusion power plant unlocked, which would be very handy, especially in my previous city that I may show at some point, where I have over a hundred thousand people in it at one point, but it's just struggling to uh, run at the moment, a little slow on this computer with it. And due to the size of um, files and everything, I'm going to probably cap each of these sessions to about half an hour. Uh, I might play a little bit in between, I'm not sure, but uh, thinking with this town of Waverley, I'm going to do pretty much all the play recorded, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, currently our demands are, well, they want some more residential, but aside from that, nothing much. You know, nice and quick to get to Little Hamlet, 400 on this size of map. Now we're going to need to put in some other things. So I pause it when these things happen, so I can check out the new stuff, work out where I'm putting it. Landfill goes over into the residential side, but I want it to have quick access everywhere. So I'm going to put it up near the back here. And that way it can flow across that crossover street we've got at the back. And do both the industrial and the residential side without too much issue. Shouldn't be a problem that it's broken that uh, power line, so that'll fix itself in a second. Healthcare, now yeah, I'm going to use this little one that I downloaded, it's just a small clinic. The normal one you have to start with is 10 grand cost and 400 upkeep, and deals with 100 patients. But this small one here, it's 3 grand, 120 upkeep. Only deals with 25 patients, but you don't usually have that huge a demand for actual patient care. It's more about getting the coverage. Also, it allows you to plop a few more uh, small clinics, more in local neighbourhoods, which is a little more like reality. Um, so I'll probably put two of them into this little area here. Um, I do like to have them on the main street, though. So I might. Uh, have one sitting there on the end road to the residential area and oh, let's put one up the far end of it on the uh, outside here that'll do it and those two should cover all of that area but if we're having trouble I'll probably put another one out out here somewhere and that'll do for the healthcare I, I have access to this uh, crematorium that I downloaded as well but uh, I need a lot of money and uh, technically we don't have crematoriums until a lot further down the way. I also need to still fill up three cemeteries for one of the unlocks so I'll probably build cemeteries first, wait for them to fill and then start working on crematoriums. Education, uh, we need, need a school, it only really needs to be out here to cover the residential areas, uh, but I think I might put it in the middle here, so that it's uh, a bit of forward planning. If I put it further to the north of this centre section, it can cover the next two up as well, without being too problematic. Gets rid of some of the houses that have already built, but uh, they'll get over it. And that's all the things that we need to add from here haven't expanded so don't need to add any more water but I think I will just work on that expansion whilst it's running now I think. I might need to move my water tower because it's too close to that um, dump that I just put in. So I'll shift that all the way out to here. It also would have been problematic because of the uh, roads that I'm about to build. Let's bring the power to it because Losing power to your water is probably a bad plan. Goes like that. These ones are fine. Some of them will go away with the roads, and the rest well we can get to that. Uh, let's go out another two. Stay straight. And 
that looks wider than it normally is. Um, and just a regular crossroad top for that. And then let's go back to this small one that we're building with. do both sides now. I don't know that I'm going to build the uh, commercial on this side yet, but uh, we'll have a look. should at some point check out uh, whether or not I've got uh, some, in some farming land or anything so that I can keep my industry a bit cleaner. Let's take that around the outside like that. Um, bring this across here and down to here. And then we can get rid of those ones from in the middle here to allow zoning. Get rid of these ones that aren't needed. That one there's still needed. And let's zone that up. Residential. Let's put the residential down this back of it as well. And I'll get more people in. Um, pipes because we need to expand them because we expanded everything else. bad we used up most of my money but we're making but we're making profit so we'll be good and let's hit run on that again the next target I think is uh, what is it 400 is what we just did 800 for the worthy village and we should get to that pretty quickly um, and that's where we get police and fire as well as some industrial specializations so before I forget, I should check out what sort of uh, special land we've got around. Um, I don't have access to looking at it from there yet, so can I do that over here? No, I don't know that I can. Actually, I can do it from here. Ground resources. No, that's the one that lets you put them in. Well, I'm not wanting to do that just yet. See them out here? No. It says that we have a whole bunch of farming in here though, so you know, farming and forestry looks good. A little bit of ore. No, still with residential demand. Still just growing. I'm going to speed this up run through a little bit and hopefully get to that 800 before too long. Some of the buildings are starting to upgrade. And just because we've got this crossroad up there I might put another one in here because uh, that'll make it all nice and even. I like it even. Uh, it's this one here, just like that. And they're not great. It's not a great setup for this sort of thing, but uh, it'll do for the starting of the city. Eventually, we won't uh, won't have to worry about this. We'll have the highway bring them in, and the, we'll split them up a bit more and. Uh, keep the residentials a bit further away from the industrial than we are at the moment. But for now, money is something useful. Growing rapidly. Lots of, uh, lots of little houses going up. We can see some of the cars that are going around. 
see if I can find any of the new cars that I've grabbed. Well, that's one of them, but uh, not a fancy vehicle. There's a Beamer. What's this white car at the front? No, it's stock sports car. Oh, it's a little smart. No, electric car. See over here the water and electricity available are bouncing around in the yellow area. Uh, it's because one of the mods that I've got is a thing that helps with automating the budget. So it'll adjust the sliders in here automatically to keep them within parameters that I've set in its settings. And I've got that turned on for both the power and water. I have turned off for the um, garbage because I find it was being a bit problematic with that. But uh, for all the others, it's turned on and with various settings. And look at that, we're already at the Worthy Village. So now we'll get to take a look at where we can do some agriculture. I reckon we've got some in our zoning already. And uh, get some police and fire into the city. And I think that'll be it for this session. Pause the game and close that. Uh, scroll out a bit so we can see everything here and uh, let's get this so we're not quite in the, in the farming area but all of this over here looks like a reasonable area to set up a farm so that'll be nice um, we've got some forestry over on the border there and forestry on the residential side of the city unfortunately um, but forestry is pretty clean so not too big a deal just outside on the other island, we've got some more farming area and north some more. There's some forestry and ore out to the um, oil out to the sides and south of us as well. So I'm probably going to refer to up the screen from this entry as being north, but it may switch around and I may end up just being whatever way the screen is facing up of it is north. Um, it can get confusing even for myself so um, yeah so, not sure what I want to do with those yet but I'll just put in the fire and fire station and a uh, police station oh do I want to put them in the middle like that that could be good uh, just for now anyway they'll get moved later when this whole area gets redeveloped put the fire in there and police in at the next one up here yeah police up there they'll cover the whole area pretty well um, didn't turn everything green but it'll do a good enough job um, the other thing it unlocked was these unique buildings um, there's a lot here but in the front thing yeah I need a lot of uh, train station still to unlock that which we may work on um, haven't been big on doing trains yet so we'll see um, the other thing it opened up is this one here one so level one uniques that I need I've got a few on got half of them unlocked but uh, don't know that the Lazarus Plaza is something we'll work on this game because it requires unhealthy people um, and we're already off and running with the clinics but I could turn them off and see um, I think that there's a second phase for that as well so not sure how long I'd have to keep them down there um, statue of shopping I could work on that I mean need to lose need to spend money and then uh, I believe you have to keep it negative for a little while as well um, it would be nice to have that unlocked because the Hadron Collider is something I want to build. And the last one there is the Plaza of the Dead which I talked about before where I need to fill three cemeteries. So once we've got the cemeteries unlocked we'll work towards that. It's our primary goal because it's required for the fusion power plant. Alright, 
thanks for watching. This has been a nice little start to a city. Let's get off of that so we can see what the city looks like towards the end of this. And we'll just set it to run for a bit and uh, I'll uh, stop my recording. Probably play for five or ten minutes more and then, uh, yeah, start another recording and uh, get back to uh, things then. Okay, see you in the next episode.